things I wanted to show off. I found this glass teapot. You can't really take the filter out because then it doesn't have a lid on. But I still thought it was like a really appealing shape. I like that the handle has a color. I don't have any glass teapots. And then this hat I'm wearing right now. It's a double knit piece. Really big hat black and brown stripes with one side having bigger stripes and the other having smaller. I thought that was really cute and perfect for today. It's really cold. I'm gonna keep that on. This uh, seagull t-shirt. It's pretty big. I didn't try it on because the store closed while I was in there. This one was a little bit of an impulse decision. I just thought it was interesting. I bought this small dyed bag. I thought of like the double bag trend or theme we're seeing and that this would be an interesting little bag to add to other bags but then it also turned out to be practical for my little purchases today. I bought this beautiful kind of rustic ceramic vase with like this very thick goopy glaze, uh, glass glaze I think maybe and I'm not sure if it's I think there's like a hole in the bottom so you can't really put any water in there but it's decorative and it matches a bird I have which is a set and my grandmother has the other one I really like that and it's quite wonky and very clearly handmade I just always love that some socks I really like having basic one color socks and I don't have enough and then lastly two little keychains. I don't know where this guy is from, but this one's from a place called and it's just a little troll. I thought it was cute. Yep, that's all. We're gonna go for a walk in a forest now and bring coffee and snacks and stuff pretty soon. It's gonna be nice. It's a beautiful, sunny, but also very windy day. I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping and thrift shopping.
just to look. There's a new store. I haven't really been in there. I want to go there. Usually I trim my bangs every other week or so, but I haven't these few, maybe three weeks. Just to see what it would look like with longer bangs. And I can't tell how I feel about it yet. It's a little more like heavy, but it also has a little bit more of a disheveled look than like the very clean bang. I have a project. I want to hang some things on the walls. <laughs> I have three different things. Four, kind of. My mom sent me an art print. Um, she bought it for me and sent it for me as a secret little gift. It was very sweet. It's a an artist that both of us really like. A Danish artist called Sina Packens. And it's this print of a watercolor painting of the view from her home, which is in the same city I live in. I didn't have a frame for it, but then I found one at a swapping station we have, so I found this for free. And I kind of like the lack of a frame, but it would also look good with a dark frame, I think. My plan is to hang this in my bedroom over my bedside table, because it's a night motif and the colors kind of match the, the bedroom vibe. Our walls um, need like a special plug when you drill into them so that they can carry the weight of, of something like this. So it just makes it a little bit more difficult, but honestly, the idea is more difficult than the reality. When I found that other frame at that swapping station, I also found this one. And I just randomly today decided to look if it fit a handkerchief that I got as a gift from my grandmother, which her mother did the lace on. My grandmother gifted it to me folded in this bag with a little message inside the bag as well. And I just put tape on this and put this on my wall for like a year. Uh, <laughs> thinking I want to frame it um, but I wasn't sure what I hadn't unfolded it I hadn't checked the size that it needed but it ended up fitting perfectly in this other frame I took home kind of randomly I didn't have any purpose for it when I chose to take it home but I guess it could both be hung this direction and this direction my intuition is telling me <laughs> that this looks the nicest even though the text is this way I think that's fine <laughs> that's fine but uh, I think it's a really cool way to display this piece of textile art. And I like having the little message from my grandmother there as well. I haven't wanted to use the handkerchief and like stain it and stuff, but I really want to have a relationship with it. So displaying it and looking at it every day, I think is a good, good solution. And at first I thought I wanted to put maybe some colored paper behind here. But when I put it down, I actually kind of liked the contrast between the textures here. Of like this kind of rough material and then this very dainty, detailed white lace. This is gonna go on the wall in the living room, I think. And then the third project is um, like a coat rack, like hooks for our bike helmets in the entryway. And then maybe, I think I'll also hang a painting that one of Thomas's family members gifted him, created and gifted him, might hang that over the coat rack. I love when frames just fit and it just works because I have bought many frames in the wrong size before. <laughs> I'll say that in thrift stores, come home and then it doesn't work. So this was kind of a, a randomly really good frame situation. <laughs> I thrifted this last weekend. It's a little decorative vase with birds painted on and I think it matches this bird really well. This is a little more cool toned, but with the bird motif and the kind of rustic glazing, yeah.
found a few things. I found a fur collar at a really good price and it's really soft and a nice brown color and I don't mind fur when it's second hand. Then I found, I found these little, they're clip-on earrings with a mother of pearl and a kind of milky, ambery kind of beaded middle part here. I was enamored with like the colors and the materials here. And I ended up getting a discount, so I essentially got these for free. The lady at the register was really kind to me. I bought this kind of baby dollish pink dress with really wide sleeves and a square neckline, which I really liked. And it has like this band of, um, I don't remember the name for these, but it has like a border of these like see-through, but they, they're kind of shiny. And then it feels like silk, but I think it's viscose. And it, you can like cinch in the back here, which I don't really think I understand the point of, but I like the straps that are coming from this in the back and I might wear it with the back side in the front. It's a Danish designer brand. I have a skirt in green that kind of is in a similar vein and it's kind of like a gray muted pink, which I really like. I love wearing dresses and I love wearing them over pants and where I wore them over the pants in the fitting room, the pants I'm wearing now, and I thought that looked really nice. These earrings match so well, almost too well, I'll say. Like this bracelet and then these and this dress, it's like too much, it's too color coordinated. And then lastly, I found two books. This one's about uh, sewn therapy, is it called that in English? I don't know. I think it's the exact same book my parents have. Like acupressure and different different massages you can do on yourself. Of corresponding sewns in the feet and the rest of the organs. Thought it was interesting. And then a book about stress <laughs> and how to prevent it for one of my friends who has a full-time job and might need it, you know? It was bought in 2015, that's funny. That's interesting. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a helpful book, but we just talked about managing stress and I thought it, it might help. And there's something very different to like Googling it and like reading a physical book. I've also found a really good cucumber in the grocery store. I'm gonna eat that now. The store had amazing vintage Diesel sneakers. Great color combination. They were just too small for me. I was so sad about it. I think there might be wood, a plank of wood exactly behind the spot that I want to drill into because I want it to be centered over the, the bedside table. Maybe a nail would be enough. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I pushed it too far. Wait. <laughs> it just disappeared. Oh God. I know I I know how to do things. There we go. Okay. Is it actually off? Probably. You know what? I can move the table. <laughs> nice. I'm feeling a little under the weather today so that's affecting my enthusiasm. This is also the room with like perpetual bad lighting because it's on the north side of the
apartment. So it's sunny today, but it looks like it's the afternoon in here. Just look at the, the contrast in here. This is how it looks in the rest of the apartment. That's why I spend most of my time during the days in the living room or the kitchen. There are nice rooms. So, okay. I think I'm just gonna wing it and put it here-ish. Great. I think the, the head of the screw is too big for the the part where you attach it. <laughs> That's so annoying! Wait. None of my plans are working, apparently. 